What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy DC the Cool back in from another video. Today's topic is Dragon Ball Z Universe 2, you know, our favorite game, and this week is the update. So let's go ahead and get right into this without further ado. Free update contents we got costumes, four accessories coming, super souls, five of them, creative character mascots, including three new color variations, illustrations, those are the actual loading screens, the artwork. 60 dude that's a lot that is quite a bit 60 I mean they look fire too I don't know if you've been paying attention to these um I mean, it's in the trailer um these uh new illustrations I mean I love those personally that's one of my favorite parts about the uh last update I mean that background never looks so good because before it's just a white screen loading and those artworks on point like, they put some they put some work into them raid quest three new raids coming and hero coliseum 70 new figurines that's a um, that's quite a bit. And I know a lot of people say, you know, people don't play Hero Coliseum. Somebody playing it because you ain't going to put 70 new figurines into a Hero Coliseum nobody playing. Again, Ben and I didn't have the information and can see the numbers that we don't see. But moving on, we have Topo and PyCon playable characters. Two new extra missions, which are story-based missions. Um, parallel quests, we got four. Cosmic Accessories, three. Additional moves, six. Six new moves altogether. Five new Super Souls and 15 illustrations. Those are DLC illustrations. You just pay to actually get so those will probably be the best ones since you have to pay for them. Um, but I mean, still, I know some people might not like that, but I mean, listen, it is what it is, it don't bother me not, um, personally because the fact of the matter is, there's some that's something they didn't have to do, and they gave us what 70 the last time for free and 60 this time for free, and they're charging with 15. I mean, come on, I mean, do the math, and on top of that, I mean. This all comes in one pack. You buy it, this all comes together. It's not like you gotta buy it separately. So, you know what I mean? Um, and then, that's pretty much everything as far as most of the content. But you also have this here, of course. And this is the overview of everything. You have the voting system. The voting system, because you get to vote for a new character. Um, you also, and they have dates for this stuff. You also get to vote for a new costume. So, a costume, what the next costume pack is going to be. And the next mascot on top of that. You know what I'm saying? costume pack and the mascot and the new character so it was kind of cool that you're actually trying to put the power of the future of the series in the hands of the players and that's pretty cool I, like I said this isn't a bad thing it's something new to try and try new things it's cool I, I like the feature but for me when it comes to costumes mascots or whatever I only cared about the ones that are actually real people or real, not real, people, but real characters like Chao Tzu and um uh, what's the other one Chao Tzu and um, poor or whatever, because they're actually Dragon Ball characters. I like my photo modes, this and that, whatever, whatever. I cared about those only, personally. All the other ones I really don't care about. Um, but, so mascots for me is whatever. But when it comes to costumes, it's cool you can vote for the next costume, but I think it'd be better if you just release the actual costume pack, a costume DLC. People will pay for costumes. If you drop 30, 40 new costumes for 15, 20 bucks, if there's some fire costumes, People will pay. People will pay. I much rather have a costume pack of DLC than to vote for one or maybe two new costumes. Personally, that's what they should do. You know. But they also got the stylist now. The barber. Finally, you can get a haircut, get a shape up. You can actually customize your character now without needing seven Dragon Balls to do so. They finally did. After five years, they finally did a feature Remax for so long. So, oh, and the RNG, can't forget that. The RNG has been buffed to the point where now they actually reduce how many times it takes uh, for the randomness. It, it actually has a higher chance of you getting the skill instead of it being as random as it was before. They took away a lot of that randomness, the RNG effect. So, these are some uh, these are some quality of life improvements on Xenoverse 2. On top of the big patch update they just dropped of changing some skills and everything, how do you work and everything? So there's some quality of life improvements. Anybody ever told you Xenoverse 2 doesn't make quality of life changes or make anything? It's the same thing, or they haven't done anything. That is complete cap. They have changed this game dramatically, uh, top to bottom, from year one to year five. Um, so you can stop that. Uh, may not be a change of things that you wanted to change or things that you wanted to see, but they have made big changes. So. Yeah, so looking forward to this update. It's going to be a really good one. Um, unfortunately, no customization for characters. That's was a you know, I love that feature customiz uh, customizing main in the main roster, main cast. Hopefully, it comes in um the next update. 
Um, maybe 20 to make up for the fact that we didn't have 10 this time. Um, and with the RNG being less too, so, or buffed, um, so, I make it might be easier to get the keys, which it should be, because that was, whew, that was tough. Um, <laughs> but, that's it for me. Tell me what you guys think below. Next, to the next video, like, share, subscribe, you know the drill. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate it. Peace out.